The midterm election is now only five days away and candidates are doing whatever they can to get your attention. Yeah, one of the many ways that they try to do that is by sending mailers to your home or business. And you've probably received some of these, but some people are asking why in this day of high tech communication would anyone use mailers? Our lead I team reporter Andy Mahalsik went in search of some answers. He joins us now in your local election headquarters. Andy. Hey guys, these are some of the mailers that were sent to the homes of eyewitness news staffers in just one day alone. Loan. So why do it? Why spend the money and the time to send these potential voters? Political analysts and candidates tell me because they work. Just as uh, yard signs, um, posters, billboards, it's low tech, uh, but it works. So says Dr. Tom Baldino, who has studied elections and campaigns for 40 years. It's all about establishing name recognition, which is absolutely essential. Voters don't vote for candidates they've never heard of. Eddie Day Pashinsky is running for re-election to the state house. He is a big believer in political mailers. The one thing about mailings that I like personally is the fact that every day people go to their mailbox, take out their mail, and they go through it. So that means I have a chance for my message to be heard. Pashinsky also says our region has a large number of senior citizens who may not be social media savvy. It's astonishing what the phone can do today, but there's still people that like to have something in their hand and, and, and be able to read it and put it down, bring it back and put it you know, in their hand again. So do people pay attention to them? When you see them in your mailbox, do you even glance at them at all? No, don't even look at them. Right in the circular file. <laughs> Is there any chance when you see these mailers, do you ever look, really look at them? No, I kind of just throw them away because you get so many. I spoke to Republican Sue Henry, who is running against Pashinsky. She says they cost too much and she does not believe they are effective. She uses social media quite a bit and other forms of media to get her message out. Reporting in your local election headquarters, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. Thank you, Andy. And political mailers are not only sent by the candidates. Any group, such as a political party, can send them in support of a specific candidate.